Glen Arthrek. <laughs> and it's raining. Well, the rain's actually off now, is it? It's been battering down. One of the more beautiful locks in Scotland. Surrounded by hills, Munro's. Unfortunately, we're not going to get much in the way of views today. Low cloud everywhere. There's been a lot of heavy rain. It's still gorgeous here. Yeah. And the colours are lovely, eh? This is the biggest expanse of Scots pine. It still exists. I mean, it started replanting 30 or 40 years ago. It's very impressive. Very atmospheric with all that low cloud and everything in Halford. It's Colin just saying. Feels like an utter wilderness out here. That's exactly how it feels. Surrounded by Monroe's to the left. Got a big ridge, it's like in the North Glensfield Ridge. Further on, you got five sisters, I can tell. And to the right, it's the Glen Affleck Hills. Some beauties, Mam Sewell, Carnet. Yeah, uh, that's Anne Soccer. There's an outright outlier as well, there's four of them again. There's, an, there's another two separate. And then there's an outlier called Ben Finlay. This is a fabulous walk. There are big roots at the head of the lock as well. Again, you've got Ben Farah and numerous other. It's the holes that run into Contail. The flat's not enough. For the whole walker, the next glen, if we turn right here, go over the, the Munro's, we come to Glencarnock, the Loch Malardoch, Munro's, four of them, on a high ridge, absolutely beautiful. And you go over them, come to Glen Strathfarrer, another four Munro's now, it's a lovely ridge. If you take a I left at some point, head west, didn't you? West Blenula Forest. You can go through to some of the most Munro, Mun, remote Munro's. Lord Moore and Cheesecake. There's a lot of cracking hills like Bunjonag. The potential for hill walking here, mountaineering, is just endless. And the feeling of remoteness is just fabulous. It's the sun trying to come through. It's exploring all these wee islands here, they're beautiful, eh? Diver over there is one thing. A red throat diver. Sun's out! <laughs> well, I've got to be shot at Colin with the sun behind him. It is there. Somewhere. Absolute silence. It's the sound of Collins paddle there, that's it.
that's the first of the Munro's up there. It's, I can't remember the name of these two, Tom, Tom McConaughey or someone. They're the two sort of easterly ones. Just off the sort of main ridge up here. This one up here on the right's Mam Sul. Cracking one though. I can hardly see anything today. That's not unusual for Glen Alfred, though, you can't see anything. It's also that we're basically following the route where we do the coast to coast. We've come over from uh, what's the name of Morvik Way. And right through Glen Affric, up past Kentel, sort of north of the Five Sisters, and the Affric. This middle bit. And then run down to, uh, towards Inverness. Coming to the Murray Firth. So it's for Loch Duer to the Murray Firth, west coast, east coast. That's it. Rain getting heavier. It's a very beautiful part of the country when you can see it. Grass is flattened down here. Probably a deer coming down for a drink or the badgers and things as well. The bullet is getting washed by the second. So for a spot of lunch and blue skies. Still grey and horrible down there, eh? <clears throat> Same conditions of taking a turn for a worst. The time we've been sitting having our lunch. There's no battering then. The blue skies that were there are long gone. The autumn colours. It's lovely. Vivid.
Oh, yeah. How beautiful that is now. Yeah. That's the best it's been all day, that's just got in. <laughs> as soon as we get in it, the weather improves vastly. Thank you. 